Hey guys, it's me, Raging Ninja here from the White Dwarf Forums, here to show you how to get and apply this iOS 5 theme to lock info without using Winterboard to apply it. So as you can obviously see here to confirm all my icons and my background image for the info shade and lock info is exactly or at least close to exactly like iOS 5. Now to show you the lock screen real quick, there's my lock screen just like iOS 5. Oops. So there you go. Let me hop on, on the, over to the computer so I can show you where to get the files and where to transfer them on your iDevice. Alright. Hey guys, now that we're back to the computer, I'm going to show you how to download, well, where to download the, uh, the theme files and how to put them in manually. So you're going to follow this link in the description, bring you a Mediafire link page thing um, where you're going to download the zip file. Of course when you download it you're going to want to unzip it and then go into it you're going to get three files. The info shade theme folder with all the images, the lock screen um, theme folder with all those images and then the lock info the iOS 5 theme that comes with these bundles and in these bundles is the correct images for the iOS 5 theme. So first what you're going to want to do is SSH into your iDevice you know, want to go to library. Let me zoom in for you real quick. Library, lock info, and from here, you want if the uh, these background images right here. You want to copy directly to the library lock info directory. So just take both images, drag them over. If you're using WinSCP like I am, you can just drag them over. Um, of course, this will work with any SSH client. Um, you may need to uh, use it differently on iFile, but uh, I'm guessing you'll know how. You just drag them over, and if you're using WinSCP, hit yes to all, and it'll copy both of the lock info shade, background, uh, the retina image, and the regular one. You don't have to copy the retina image, though, If you obviously, if you're not on a fourth generation iDevice. And then right here, it'll give you, oh, oops, where is it? Right here is the file for the background image. Now one thing you should know is that when you do this, uh, you have to go into settings, lock info, theme, and there is you're going to have to uh, select the default theme. So right now when you go into settings, lock info, excuse me, appearance, and then select the default theme. Wait, no. Just kidding. Where is it? Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Parents, select a default theme. I think. Oh. I think it's home screen. Lock info, home screen. Select a theme and hit and select the default theme. Excuse me. Um. So that's where you go is settings, lock info, a home screen, and then um, select the default one. Um. So, anyways, and then to apply the icons for the info shade and lock screen, you just go into plugins, and you'll find these one. Seven folders. Here you'll find the calendar plugin bundle, favorites plugin bundle, mail plugin bundle, notification plugin bundle, and all these. Um, so first, why don't we go, uh, for example, just into calendar, and right here uh, you'll see the old ones, the black uh, lock info selection, and we'll just come up with this random little image you can't really see. Um, but you want the silver ones. You can see the icon really right there. It's it's really hard to see, even if I zoom in for you. Um, so you're gonna want to go calendar plugin. See these two images right here. You just copy both of them, or just the non-retina image one, into it. And then of course yes to all if you're on WinSCP. I've already done all this. And then you just do that to each folder. You go favorites plugin. Copy both images. Go into favorites. Copy it there. Go back out. Go into your, you know, your mail. Do your mail. 
phone. You want to copy all four of these images for the phone into the phone directory. Push notifications, SMS, and if you have Twitter, go ahead and do Twitter. And that's how you do it. If you have guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Again, this does not use Winterboard. And always come support us on Facebook and Twitter. It always helps us. So hope you guys understood this tutorial. And if you didn't, please let me know and I will try and explain better. Thanks and goodbye.